NASA is staring down at a doomsday scenario. An asteroid the size of a city could collide with the moon. The event could kick up quite a storm of debris. It could destroy satellites, space stations, future space missions could be impacted. Our next report decoding how there are plans to destroy this asteroid using a nuclear bomb. Take a look. Asteroid 2024 YR4 first terrified astronomers last Christmas. Detected just two days after passing Earth at barely twice the moon's distance, it initially carried a 3% chance of striking our planet. Now that has been ruled out, and the new trajectory of the asteroid shows that it is heading towards the moon. The stakes couldn't be higher. A direct hit wouldn't just scar the moon. It would unleash a vast cloud of micrometeoroid debris that floods low Earth orbit a deadly hazard for robotic eyes and astronauts alike. This could cripple critical space infrastructure and disrupt scientific exploration. Traditional tactics won't cut it. NASA's first instinct to nudge the rock away with a spacecraft like DART was considered, but the asteroid's uncertain weight and mass make precise deflection almost impossible. Time is ticking fast, so NASA is mulling the nuclear option. Two 100 kiloton nuclear bombs, that's five to eight times bigger than the one exploded over Hiroshima. The plan is to detonate the nuke near the asteroid, shattering or diverting it before it hits. The explosion would impart enough energy to disrupt the asteroid's path without simply turning it into more deadly fragments. This bold move, never tried before in space, could buy humanity critical time and protect the moon and Earth's surrounding space. But the nuking plan is controversial. It demands leaps in technology, diplomacy and funding and much more thorough research to fully understand the risks and rewards. The political implications are staggering. International treaties would need rewriting. Global consensus would need building. And all of this while the clock ticks toward December 2032, when the asteroid is scheduled to hit our moon. Bureau report, we on world is one. A mystery out in the wild is rewriting the rule books of evolution. A lone wolf has done something no scientist expected and cameras caught every second of it. It's a rare glimpse into animal intelligence that's rewriting what we thought we knew about wild animals. The scene unfolds off the rugged coast of British Columbia. A wolf plunges into the icy water, snags a floating buoy with her mouth, drags it ashore in an attempt to catch fish. The first recorded instance of tool use by a wild wolf. Scientists are reviewing the footage, calling it astonishing. Wolves are known for intelligence and strategy, but not known for manipulating objects to hunt like primates or sea otters. The behavior, scientists say, wasn't random. It was intentional, measured, a sign of cognitive evolution as rivers warm, prey shifts, and wolves adapt with surprising speed. The discovery has triggered a flurry of comparisons with other species pushing the boundaries of animal ingenuity Crows crafting hooks from twigs to pull insects from cracks. Dolphins using sea sponges as underwater armor while foraging. Octopuses carrying coconut shells to build mobile shelters. Even bears rolling logs to climb over enclosures. And now wolves striking fish with tools like seasoned hunters. But what makes this case unique is the predator involved. Wolves rely on packs, speed and coordination. Tool use suggests something more. Individual problem solving, innovation, learning that could spread across territories. If one wolf has mastered it, scientists think others may follow.
AI-led tech stock boom brings an important question to the forefront. Does AI tell you lies for corporate greed? And why is this question being asked? Those doubts on valuation, questions about AI itself were reflected in the moves on Wall Street on Thursday. The whiplash was truly historic. Investors were stunned as a reversal in the, in the S&P 500 erased $2.7 trillion. But then the devil is in the details. Analysts are calling what transpired on Thursday the collapse of the Ponzi scheme. First, Nvidia stock rallied 5% and soon reversed course to turn negative, weighing on broader global markets. Within 18 hours of reporting its earnings, NVIDIA both added and lost $450 billion in market value. That's a $900 billion swing in less than 36 hours. The reason for the reversal, Wall Street algorithms detected that NVIDIA's earnings numbers don't add up. NVIDIA reported $33.4 billion in unpaid bills, up 89% in one year. Customers who bought chips have not paid for them yet. The average wait time for payment stretched from 46 days to 53 days. And that extra week, basically representing $10.4 billion, that may never arrive. Meanwhile, NVIDIA, the poster child in a way, for the AI boom, stockpiled nearly $20 billion in unsold chips, up 32% in three months. But management claiming demand is insane, supply is constrained, both cannot be true. Either customers are not buying or they are buying without cash. The cash flow tells the real story here. NVIDIA generated $14.5 billion in actual cash but reported $19.3 billion in profit. The gap is $4.8 billion. Healthy chip companies convert over 95% of profits to cash. NVIDIA reportedly converts 75%. That's distress level in a way. Here's another aspect then that is boosting earnings. All the give and take deals between the big tech firms. NVIDIA gave two point, uh, NVIDIA gave $2 billion to XAI. XAI borrowed $12.5 billion to buy NVIDIA chips. Those are the numbers. Microsoft gave OpenAI $13 billion reportedly. OpenAI committed $50 billion to buy Microsoft Cloud. Microsoft ordered $100 billion in NVIDIA chips for that cloud. Oracle gave OpenAI $300 billion in cloud credits. OpenAI ordered NVIDIA chips for Oracle data centers. Now, analysts say the future will regard this as fraud. True end demand is ridiculously small. Almost all customers are funded by their dealers. This comes when research showing AI systems generate false claims at a rate of up to 40%. And deep fake is on the rise. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.